Hey, it's Monday and I'm Midja. And lately, I've been really thinking about this concept of time. So let me know if this rings true for you. You're trying to fit an awful lot into your life. So there's family, there's friends, there's kids, fur babies, there's work, maybe a side hustle that you're trying to get off the ground. You want to spend time traveling, time for adventures, time for exercise, time for the most important people in your life, time for you, and time to just be. So where you spend your time is so important. And it is an unrenewable resource. You see, if I give you a physical object, say I give you these earrings that I'm wearing, you know what? I can go out and buy another pair of earrings. If I give you some money, well, I can go out and I can earn more money. But if I give you an hour of my time, you know what? I'm never getting that time back. It's like poof, up it goes in a cloud of smoke. And it reminds me of that movie In Time. And Justin Timberlake was in it. I don't know whether you remember it. It wasn't a huge blockbuster movie. But in it, everyone had a digital clock on their forearms. And it counted down the number of years months, weeks, days, hours, minutes, seconds that people had left. And when the countdown went to zero, well, time is up. So think about this. As a leader, if you're having a team meeting, and maybe it's a two-hour weekly meeting, you've got 10 people in your team, that's 20 hours you're taking from those team members and two hours of your own time. So 22 hours. What's the return on investment? Maybe it's a return on energy or commitment, engagement, ideas, money, focus, profit. What is it? But what are you getting back for that investment of 22 hours? I think we need to be conscious of two things. Firstly, giving our time away. So who are you giving your time to? What are you giving your time to and why? And then secondly, taking time away from other people. For example, when you call that meeting, how much time do you need? Who do you need in that room and why? And what is your intended result? Now, we may not have a digital clock on our forearms, but I don't think we need to be reminded that our life clock is ticking away. So how do you want to spend your time? I am, I can, I'm Midja. Bye, guys.